Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red episode 32. In the last episode, we went to Mount Ember and caught the legendary bird, Moltres, the fire flying type legendary Pokemon. Uh, I added a bunch of like really cool editing things to that, I think. Um, I should have done that because that's what I planned on doing and I really hope that it turned out pretty cool. Alright, so in this episode we are going to finish exploring everything that we can do here on one island or not island in the Sevi Islands. There's seven islands but only three are available in the pre- pre-post game. All right, so down here, uh, most of the areas you can't actually surf on around these islands, but right here you can. So lying back, rocked by the waves, is exquisite. Now we're going to hurry through this Amara fight real quick. She's going to send out a level 36 seal, which I believe is the first time that we've seen seal. Raichu's going to hit level 50, which is absurdly high, and she's going to send out another seal where she's got three Pokemon. I think she's got two seals and a dugong. So dugong is the evolved form of seal. We haven't actually seen these Pokemon in the wild just yet, so I don't really want to go over them, uh, but we'll be able to take them down. Uh, I lost. It feels awful. We'll only get 144 Poke Dollars for that fight. But down here, oh my god, is the important thing, and that is Treasure Beach. So we can go ahead and pop our item finder. I highly suggest using that around here. And we can talk to this guy who's not going to say too much. Good things get washed up by the ocean current onto this beach. That's why I often come here for some beach combing. Now, it is worth mentioning that Tangela is also available here in the patches of grass that you can find. Uh, but this place is loaded with items. I mean, just loaded with items. Um, or at least it, it was in my memory. But it's been a while since I've played. And trying to find these can take quite a while. So, I'm going to, uh, what is going on here, man? I'm missing all of them. Uh, I think it's... There we go. So, we found an Ultra Ball right there. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop it, and for some reason, it's not... Really? Am I... What? Okay. I was gonna say, if, if, if there's not more than one item here, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna straight up just tears. All right. So there's another item right over here, which is another Ultra Ball. Not a huge deal. Uh, I, th I can't remember, but I think Treasure Island will actually reset um, its the, the items that it will have. So, you know, right now it has some Ultra Balls. Okay, guys, so I did some additional research real quick, so I apologize for that little cut there. So, uh, according to Bulbapedia, which is the source that I used for a lot of my research uh, before I did this LP... Uh, and while I'm playing, so that's how I know, like, Pokemon, whatever. Uh, so this is a, it does, all the items do reappear occasionally, depending on the amount of steps that the player takes. So, uh, the items that you can get here are Ultra Balls, which we just, I just showed you both of their locations, Pearls, Big Pearl, Stardust, and a Star Piece. They all reappear occasionally, depending on... Uh, and it seems to be random on when they actually do. The actual treasure is located in small areas. Um, uh, and that's that's pretty much all that you can do here. But I thought I would just show that. Now, I'm actually going to quickly just run around, uh, use the steps, and see if I can actually find additional items. I spent way too long searching this damn island for nothing. There was nothing here. It made me sad. Alright, so we are going to continue on because, ah, uh, that was so annoying. Alright, so I, I walked a lot and was not able to get it. So I don't recommend, like, uh, you know, sitting there and, and just walking back and forth like I just did for a very, very, very long time. Uh, <laughs> we're at an hour recording right now. Uh, alright, so now we are here in Two Island. Danger, fast current. Surfing and fishing prohibited. Uh, current is much too fast. So like I said before, uh, you can't actually surf on a lot of the locations that are around um, this area. Now, here's something that we haven't seen in a really long time. This tree. We don't have anything that has cut right now, but we can grab it uh, in a second. We can also go inside right here and use the Pokemon Center. Uh, none of these guys are going to say anything that's too interesting. There is an old lady who lives on the Cape. She's been there since I don't even know when. Right here, have you visited the game corner? There's a game corner, but it's different than the one in Celadon. And obviously there is, uh, you know, regular Pokemon Center stuff. Now, we can come up here and talk to this guy who's not really going to say, That fellow over here, he moved here from Celadon. 
So he, of course, is going to, uh, this is like the only mart area that we have on this island. Uh, his merchandise is limited, but he will have some stuff right now. Uh, because we don't, we, we're missing a lot of balls. We don't have a lot of balls. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Fresh water is also worth getting. It will restore the HP of one Pokemon by 50 points, uh, which we've said before. Uh, you can actually buy a bunch of these now if you so choose, which uh, we don't have any room actually. So you know what? I'm going to sell some stuff and then I'll be right back. Okay, I made some room. Uh, I sold like my, uh, uh, my stuff, my nuggets and pearls and, and pearls and pearls. Anybody know what that reference is to? Uh, if you do, you get 20 bucks of... Uh, virtual cash. All right, so we can come talk to this person. Boing, boing. Have you tried the jumping game? The Pokemon you can enter. Boing. Some go boing, and some go boing. Did you know that? Boing. <laughs> yes, of course we knew that. All right, so right in here is one of the game corner shops that we can go into. Now, this guy's going to be frantically searching. Now, where's Lostel gotten to? She always brings me lunch every day right about now. Huh, you there. Are you a friend of Lostel's? Uh, have you seen Lestelle around? I don't know where she might be. She should have been here long ago. Lestelle's a cutie. She got my look. So what if someone... What if something's happened to my Lestelle? Please help me find her. Please go search the Three Island. So this guy will give us a mission to search the Three Island. Ha! <laughs> what is this? Game Corner? How much sadder can this get, those clowns? They said they'd be waiting on the island, so where are they? Hey, you! Is this the only Three Island around here? Try waking up before you crawl out of bed, you punk. Oh, wait. That's a different guy. This is Two Island. Move it. Get your filthy motorbike out of my place. Huh. Oh, gotcha. Huh. <laughs> These islands are confusing. Would you look at that? That punk scuffed up my floor. So we have to go to Three Island and see if Lestelle's there, but it looks like that we might have some bikers there that might pose a little bit of a problem uh, for us. We'll see, though. We'll see. Right in this house is something that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is actually pretty cool. We're actually going to switch Bahamut into our our leading party if i'm not mistaken i think it's this house we can come talk to this guy oh no it's not i'm the pokemon move maniac i know every single move that pokemon learned growing up i'm also a mushroom maniac bring me two tiny mushrooms or one big mushroom if you do that for me i'll teach a move to one pokemon do you want me to teach a pokemon uh to a pokemon which pokemon needs tutoring so if we go ahead and like talk to this uh we can go ahead and actually use stuff to teach our Pokemon moves that they have gotten rid of before. So, uh, let's say, who's a good Pokemon that we should look at for it? Let's look at Bruce. Uh, let's see if he has any moves. So, we can teach him Revenge, Double Kick, uh, Meditate, Jump Kick, Focus Energy, Mind Reader, all of those things, uh, in case you decide to actually do this. The Move Maniac is wonderful if you, uh, if you, if there's some move that you really, really want back. Uh, highly recommend that. So we actually didn't need Bahamut there. Uh, I'm gonna go get a Pokemon that has Cut in our party real quick. Uh, we can come up here and see that this is Cape Brink. Um, this is actually what I wanted to show you and why I put Bahamut uh, first in the party. So we're gonna go ahead and use Surf. Uh, I think we can't actually get up there right now. Okay. I wasn't sure if this little spot had something. So we can't actually get up there yet. Uh, we need... A different HM that we do not have access to just yet. But let's go ahead. Oh man. Uh, oh, a Gloom. Well, we have we've we've seen Gloom before, so no worries. Uh, we're gonna go up here and into this and talk to her. I perfected the ultimate move of its type, but will no one take it for further further use? You that 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 Charizard. Oh, this is the one. This is the Pokemon. This Charizard is worthy of learning my ultimate move. Will you allow it? Will you allow your Charizard to learn my Blast Burn? Yes. All right, so she will teach I, uh, any of your starters as long as they are first in your party. So Venusaur will learn Frenzy Plant, I believe. Uh, Blastoise will learn Hydro Cannon. And Bahamut, uh, or Charizard will learn Blast Burn. Uh, so let's take a look at Blast Burn. Which move should be forgotten? All right, so this Fire Blast is 120 base attack with 85 accuracy. Blast Burn is 150. 150 uh, power with 90 accuracy. The foe is hit with a huge explosion. The user can't move on the next turn. Now, that's actually fine for the single player of this game. Uh, oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that, but that's that's fine. Uh, we I meant to get rid of Smokescreen, um, but what are you going to do? I didn't think I could teach that move while I still lived. Uh, unfortunately, I screwed up there, and I meant to use it on, uh, Smokescreen. So we actually got rid of 
the TM Fire Blast, which sucks because that could have been useful. Uh, but Blast Burn will make it so that literally things will die. Um, and odds are you'll probably use it and then switch out anyways. Right there behind the house, we can find a rare candy. But we should talk about the two Pokemon that you can find in this area. So let's go ahead and look at those now. So all of the Pokemon that you can find here in Cape Brink are evolutions of the Pokemon that you already could have found. So we're just going to start with Golduck, who is the Fire Red exclusive, a 5% chance of being encountered uh, by surfing or by actually walking in the grass, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Uh, Golduck is a unfortunate Pokemon. Its stats are just not very high, and its abilities don't really make it that much better either. That damp, I guess, could come in handy, uh, but only in very particular situations in Cloud9 is not really a big deal whatsoever, unless you're playing competitively, in which case you can shut down entire, like, rain teams or, or ice teams or whatever. You can pretty much just shut them down with that ability, but honestly, I can't recommend Golduck, just like I couldn't really recommend Psyduck. It is a pure water type, even though maybe it should be water psychic, but those stats just don't help it whatsoever. But for you Leaf Green users, you get one of my favorite Pokemon, which is Slowbro, a water psychic type Pokemon, just like Slowpoke. We've gone over Slowpoke before. I personally would get the ability Own Tempo, which will prevent Slowbro from being confused. Oblivious is okay, but it only works in certain situations, whereas not being confused is, like, amazing. Uh, in its stats, while its speed is obviously super, super incredibly low, that defense and special attack are just through the roof. So good. Uh, what a tanky Pokemon. Also, with that 95 base health, uh, Slowbro will be able to take a lot of damage. And that Water Psychic, type, psychic Typing gives it a lot of resistances, which is very, very cool indeed. We could catch this Pokemon in other areas, but I feel like this is the best place to actually talk about Poliwhirl, as is the next one. Now, with the Super Rod, it is a 40% chance of an encounter rate, which is absolutely through the roof. Huge. It's a big, a big encounter rate. So you will easily be able to get a Poliwhirl. And I highly suggest picking up a Poliwhirl now. Uh, one, not only to fill your Pokedex, but two, maybe to evolve it. And three, uh, because we have a very important trade that we can do for a, a trade exclusive Pokemon. So if you don't have one of these, uh, I suggest picking one up. Now, I'm also going to talk about Poliwhirl's evolution, Poliwrath. Now, Poliwrath gains a fighting type once it hits its final evolution after using a Water Stone. And it does have the abilities Water Absorb and Damp. I do highly recommend, if you want to go with this Pokemon, to choose Water Absorb. But, don't pick this Pokemon. That, whiting, that Water Fighting type does give it some pretty amazing uh, uh, resistances. With a lot of actual weaknesses, but those stats just don't help it at all. They're reasonable stats, but until you actually get some water-based physical attacks, which aren't in this generation, uh, I can't really recommend it. You're really only going to be using Polyrath for fighting type attacks, and there are better, faster, stronger fighting types that you can get in this game. And finally, a Pokemon that I should have talked about so long ago that I can't believe uh, I didn't do. I don't know how I overlooked that when I was doing the Let's Play. Uh, apparently, I overlooked Gyarados, even though we evolved a Magikarp in the very early episodes of this actual LP. So right here, you can catch a Gyarados if you didn't evolve a Magikarp with a Super Rod 15% of the time. Now, it does gain a Flying subtype, uh, meaning that it is weak to electric, like four times weak to electric. Its ability also changes from Magikarp to now be Intimidate. Upon Gyarados' entry in battle, all opponents' attacks are lowered, which is great. Now, its stats are amazing. That attack stat, though, of 125 is really going to help his flying attacks, but it's not going to help his water attacks in this generation, which is one of the reasons why I actually don't recommend Gyarados if you are playing Fire Red or Leaf Green. There are stronger water types who are going to be able to capitalize on things like Surf and whatnot. Also, it's not even a very good uh, HM person. Like, I know you're thinking, oh, but you can put Surf and Fly on the same Pokemon. Nope can't put fly on Gyarados. He cannot actually fly, even though he is flying type. So I just wanted to talk about that Pokemon right here and now. All right, so we cut a gold duck. The four legs are webbed, helping to make it an adept swimmer. It can be seen swimming elegantly in lakes, etc. Uh, no, we're not going to give a nickname. I just wanted to grab it so that we could add it to our Pokedex. So obviously, like I said, I do think that Fire Red winner uh, choosers win here because I just thoroughly enjoy uh, 
Slowbro more than Golduck, even though I do like Golduck. So while those Pokemon aren't necessarily new, they are the Pokemon that you can find on Cape Brink, so I just thought that I would show them to you guys regardless. Uh, all right, so now I'm gonna get a Pokemon that has cut, and we will go and grab that item that's right below us. I, uh, I totally lied to you. I can't use the PC here because the PC's broken. I totally forgot about that, which is actually really unfortunate for us because that means we're stuck with, uh, with Spearow in our party. So let me check something real quick. All right, well, it looks like we're gonna have to wait to get that because nothing that I have right now uh, can actually cut down that tree. So, uh, I was gonna see if Spearow could learn cut, but he can't. So, that's all that you can do on Two Island. Literally, Two Island is super, super, super tiny. Uh, we literally have done everything you could do here. So, let's continue on to Three Island. Uh, ahoy there, where do you wanna go? Three Island, all right. We'll get aboard. So, Two Island was nice and, nice and quick. Nitty gritty done. Uh, and now we will head into Three Island and see what's going on over here. Now you're going to notice that there are going to be bikers galore here. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they aren't going to fight us yet. Hey, hey, lady, fork over some spending money. Well, who are you? I'll, I'll call the police. We're the Kanto Rider Federation. Vroom, vroom, vroom. My bike's wimpy, so I have to make exhaust noises myself. I would do the same thing, dude, if I had a motorcycle. I would drive it and go... So this guy, Three Isle Path. Hey there, how's it going? What am I doing here, you ask? Why, I'm prospecting for gold. So I do believe that eventually this Isle Path here will actually g change. Uh, right now it won't because we're in the we're not in the post game yet. But uh, these islands are where the post game happens, which I believe I've said in the past. So it looks like the bikers are all over the place, uh, and they're saying that the island belongs to them, and I don't think so! I don't think so! Nope, there's no response. I wonder what this is right here. Rare rocks and gems are displayed. So this house is empty. Um, we actually kind of know whose house that is. We've, we've met them before. Uh, right up there is a bunch of bikers. A bunch of bikers. Are you the boss? Go back to Kanto right now! Huh? I just got here, pal. What's with the hostile attitude? It's mighty cold of you. Your gang of followers have been raising havoc on their bikes. Do you have any idea how much trouble they've caused us on the island? Nah, man, I don't get it at all. Look at this place. What do you do for entertainment? You ought to be thanking us for livening up this sleepy village. But hey, if you insist, you can try making us leave. <sighs> you coward, so tough in a pack. All right, let's go ahead and use the Pokemon Center. Uh, see if there's anything in here for us to, like, do. There isn't. Uh, it's impossible to surf between the islands. The tides are too t fast and too treacherous. Hey, did you hear the news? The PC network here can now link with PCs in Kanto. What? A ra okay, so now we have access to the PC, even though I literally just tried to do that. So we are going to move uh, Spiro out. We're going to put Topher back in the party because we miss him. Uh, we'll put him there. Move Spiro there. And I forgot what Pokemon has cut. All right, so we're actually going to move uh, Raichu out here and put Paris in there. Uh, Paris is our HM slave, if you remember right. Uh, so he should have cut on him. So we can go back and grab that item real quick. Real quick! All right, so back on Two Island. We're just going to go ahead and use this. We will have to come back to Two Island uh, afterwards. I just wanted to kind of get this uh, so that I don't forget about it or anything. And it's just a revive, so it's literally not a big deal. Uh, probably didn't need to put as much work into getting that item as I did. All right, cut back to Three Island. All right, so back on Three Island, uh, we are going to go ahead and switch Topher, uh, I believe, is going to be our best bet here. We'll switch Topher to be our uh, leading party member just because we actually haven't seen Topher in action in a very long time. You! What are you staring at? Don't you know it's not polite? You want to make something of it or what? Yeah! Huh. I like your guts. You'll be losing money to me, but, uh, hey. All right, so we are going to tackle all of these, uh, these biker goons here. So I'm going to speed through this as much as I can with the in-game in stuff that we have. So I'm going to toss a Shadow Ball out there. Uh, that'll be able to take down a coughing. And these, po these bikers are going to have, like, poison types and stuff like that. So I'm going to go through this as much as I can. Aren't you from Kanto? You should be on our side. So he's going to send out a coughing. Uh, I'm going to hit this with a bug attack. I don't think that will actually do anything. Yeah, yeah, so it, obviously Bug is uh, is not very strong against that. We'll go ahead and use Double Kick, finish it off. And uh, we'll hit level 45 on Topher, which is good. 760 Poké Dollars. Uh, again, I'm just going to go through this as fast as I can because I don't really feel like there's a point 
of, of you seeing everything that we can do here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. I'm sorry that the music's really bad, too. I'm doing a different recording thing, so you guys actually have to... Oh, I didn't mean to use that. Well, he used self-destruct, which is fine for me. Uh, he's going to go ahead and use a muck. We're going to go with a shadow ball. Uh, we shouldn't be using this at all because, because it's, you know, muck. But uh, the reason I chose Nidoking King that I wanted him out front is because obviously he can't be poisoned. So we went and took down Two Ball there, and all of the bikers are now gone. Uh, I accidentally sped through that. You'll notice that they're down here, totally gone. Those bikers, are they gone? Yeah, they just kind of vanished, uh, like 4400 style. Like they just kind of poofed, which is which is scary. Thank you. Those goons were nothing but bad trouble. Oh look, your Pokemon got hurt, and he will give us a full restore. Thanks, dude. You've you've got seriously impressive Pokemon with you. This is true, I do. It'd be fantastic if someone as strong as you lived here. I hope you'll at least stay here for a while. I beg your pardon, you're looking for Lestelle? Lestelle went off towards Bond Bridge a little while ago. Interesting. So right here, we can go into this house and see what's going on in here. Uh, this is going to be me. I'm not Lestelle. She's probably gone to the berry forest, I think. She picks berries there for lunch. So why did her dad not look there? Right? I'm going to train my Dojuo. When it evolves, I'm going to play a game on two islands. We'll get into that in a little bit. Right here, you can come talk to these guys as well. Papa keeps lying to me and won't let me go out and play. You must never, ever go out to the bear. Why? There are ghosts there. So apparently, there are ghosts over in Berry Forest, where Lestelle might be. So right here is an actual fully-fledged Pokemon Mart. Uh, we can talk to the people here, but they're not really going to say anything to us uh, that are, you know, worth mentioning. Uh at all, really. Um, but obviously I like to talk to the NPCs just in case they decide to give us some free money. Now, I am going to be buying a bunch of Ultra Balls. I mean, like, a bunch. We'll buy, we'll buy, uh, we'll buy 25 Ultra Balls. I know, crazy, right? Um, there we go. And I'm also going to buy some Bax Repels, I believe, just because we don't have any, and, uh, it might be handy to have them. I'm gonna buy nine of them. And obviously we have so much money that I'm not too concerned with that. Cool. So, moving on. There is an item down here that we can grab as well. We can also talk to this person. Three Island is actually the most populous of the islands here. Still, it could be less sleepy, but I wouldn't want to see goons like those bikers here again. All right, so we'll go ahead, cut down this tree, and grab this item that we can grab. Grab this item that we can grab. Good job. Good commentary, Corey. You, uh, you should be a YouTuber. All right, and we'll get a Zinc, which is good. Obviously, Zinc will increase our defense. Uh, worth mentioning. I also used all of my vitamins uh, off-screen. Um, but I think you guys know how my house is set up, so today I think I'll go out fishing. Okay, uh, I just like to check to see if there's any hidden items in houses. There's usually not, but it's, it's worth checking, you know, it takes one button click to be able to do that. Ugh, it's useless, I can't take, make this spoon bend. Maybe I really don't have psychic powers. You know about a girl gym leader in Saffron City? She uses psychic type Pokemon, right? I admire her, I really do. I've heard that she's one cool customer, and beautiful too. He's talking about Sabrina, the teenage witch, uh, that we took down in... Oh, jeez, I don't even remember. So right here is Bond Bridge. Now, we're not actually going to get into that just yet, but we are going to run over here and cut down this, this tree uh, to see what items lie on the other side. Which, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it's right there. Which is a PP up, which is absolutely 177% worth getting. And, unfortunately, that tree is back. I don't know. I don't know either. Alright, so, uh, now, that's going to be it, I believe, for this episode. Uh, I don't want it to be too long, and we still have Bond Bridge and Berry Forest left to tackle here on Three Island. We took care of the biker problem real quick. Uh, hopefully the sound wasn't too awful for you guys. I am using a totally brand new way of recording for this, for this stuff, which is to use XSplit. Uh, so that I don't have to add in all the feature, all of the things later. Uh, it's just one video. So the the downside to something like that is I can't control the audio levels separately because they're all one track. Um, so that's kind of an issue in and of itself. Uh, my question of the day for all of you is Slowbro or Psyduck or Golduck? I mean, which do you prefer, Golduck or Slowbro? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, everybody, never give up. Never surrender.